and thank you for joining me for another episode of The Corner Office. This is season two, episode three, and today's guest is Zach Kubek, VP of Sales and Marketing from Wave Incorporated. Wave is a distributor based out of Chicago, and we've been using them for years. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Zach, welcome to the show. Mr. Bronken, good morning. How are you, sir? Good, good, man. Good to have you here. So first question of the day, of course, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking the nectar of the gods. How about you? What are you drinking? Well, uh, today I'm actually drinking a uh, Privateers 1882 Ale from Ooh. the uh, Wayfarers Ale Society just a couple hours from here. I always like drinking something of a craft beer. so. Hey, cheers. Cheers, brother. I think I should say Salancha, so I'm drinking this. True enough. <laughs> mm. Great stuff. All right, so you know how this goes. We're going to ask you the first question out of the gate. Tell me your best joke or pun that you've got going on there, Zach. All right, Stephen, what's the difference between uh, a hippo and a zippo? <laughs> what? One of them's really, really heavy, and the other one's a little lighter. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's all I got, man. That's the best it comes here. Hey, that, that, that works, right? You know, it's, uh, it's uh, it, you didn't flame out on that one. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play. <flame. laughs> all right. So uh, tell me a little bit, you know, Zach, of course, you're you're in distribution. You've been uh, Wave and, and yourself and the team at Wave have been our distributors for years. Um, tell me a little bit about how the recent COVID-19 crisis has affected Wave specifically with stock, with, with orders, with clients, et cetera, like that. Sure. Yeah. So I think it's been uh, non-discriminatory. So as far as uh, COVID is concerned, we've seen impact at almost every manufacturer. Um, at least they've experienced interruptions. Uh, the good news is we haven't seen complete shutdowns, but um, you know there's a lot of things that um, are contributing factors to a um, uh, little bit of choke points in the supply chain. So uh, obviously the government mandated shutdowns, uh, compounding that is um, labor avail availability and shortages. Uh, with healthy workforces so if someone in a, a plant gets covid you know there's protocols that need to take place and things along those lines um you know the good news is we've seen with a lot of our manufacturers uh they had the um uh, the forethought if you will to uh, look at what's going to happen in the world and then diversify so if there's a problem in china they're looking at malaysia or maybe if there's a problem in india uh, let's look at Mexico from a manufacturing perspective. So if I look at how our manufacturers have uh, maneuvered during these times, uh, the good ones have um, diversified and they've um, looked at different ways to spin up other, other factories or other plants where they can manufacture in other geographies that aren't necessarily hotspots. Um, so uh, there's been impact to our business. To compound that, Stephen, you've got an increase in demand. So pre-COVID, everyone had uh, an insatiable need for bandwidth. Um, you know, hotels needed their, you know, strong networks uh, on the WISP side of our business. Um, you know, uh, people in residential areas uh, are wanting faster uh, bandwidth speeds. And now that uh, the office, no pun intended, has moved to the home, uh, everyone's um, needing better, uh, better networks. So you have these uh, supply chain constraints compounded with uh, people needing stronger networks and, and more bandwidth and more throughput. Mm -hmm. And you combine those together, and you're going to see some supply chain uh, constraints. So it's been it's been challenging. Gotcha, gotcha. How has uh, Wave, uh, as a company, been been uh, working out with COVID? Have you guys? figured out the right mix of in-office versus remote workers and so forth? Yeah, so we've we've really proven that uh, remote workers, um, our IT group has just been phenomenal in helping during these times, uh, getting people spun up at home, 
Uh, we, you know, right when things started to get uh, fairly heavyweight, a lot of our folks just come in and grab their dual monitors so they can work on uh, projects at home with dual monitor, with their Surface tablets, things like that. Uh, and we've actually been thriving uh, in remote environments. And so we're not in a rush. We're watching, uh, we're in Illinois, obviously, and uh, we're watching uh, what, what the government is saying uh, at the state level on reopenings and things like that. But the team is really coming together and, and we're all rowing just like we have been in the office. It's been great. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. So uh, do you have any recommendations for, for anyone in the industry? I mean, obviously, Wave deals with a, a ton of our partners, and, uh, you know, as well as a ton of our competitors. But, you know, does Wave yourself have any recommendations for anyone uh, anywhere along in the supply chain or in the customer base or anywhere? Yeah, I think what I've seen in the, in the hospitality industry, what I've seen in the market is just I've seen a lot of businesses get creative and just find a way to get it done. Uh, and what I mean by that, if I have adv any advice for anybody and a lot of our customers, including Safety and Access, are already doing this today, just be uh, curious and explore and, and really watch where federal funding is flowing. So the federal government right now has, uh, US specifically, um, has really looked, and I think there's some programs in Canada as well, but the US government has looked and said, okay, we, we now are realizing, uh, they've always had subsidy programs available, but now more so than ever, um, they're really throwing a lot of money at uh, connectivity in rural areas. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the folks that we're helping in the hospitality market, I'll, I'll tip my cap to you guys at Safety and Access, but, but right when things spun up, we saw the Army Corps of Engineers throw out a ton of RFPs for temporary hospitals. Mm -hmm. uh, that's maybe a major metropolitan area where a temporary tent uh, healthcare facility needs to be uh, put up or converting e existing hotels uh, to be able to uh, take care of patients in a temporary um, COVID testing environment. Um, so we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of people react and say, okay, how can we diversify? What other vertical markets uh, can we go after? And what can we do with the federal government to uh, really thrive and continue while uh, the hospitality market is is hurting a little bit because people are not being tourists right now and they're not traveling for work as frequently as they used to be. So my advice is be curious, watch that federal funding, stick to your core business and your core competen competencies, but look at other areas where you can thrive. Um, I see a lot, a lot of parallels with a managed service provider uh, in the indoor networking space, like for a hotel, and then uh, for our WISP customers, our wireless internet service providers that are serving small rural uh, schools or serving homes and residence, uh, residential applications. Um, there's a lot of parallels there without doing a shotgun blast of, we have to become someone different. Stick to your core competencies and look for other ways you can connect people. Good, good, very well said. Great. Well, let's move on to the uh, the next one, of course, which is where do you see the industry going after this? You know, not only not only in the next six months to a year, but also a couple of years out. I mean, you you folks follow technology. Um, I, I know you guys are big into the uh, the next um, wireless signals that are being released and so forth like that, and have your own podcast. So, what, yep. what types of things are you seeing or forecasting? Yeah, I think uh, on the technology side, Stephen, you're seeing a lot, but the FCC is freeing up a lot of spectrum, six gigahertz specifically. So uh, you are gonna see manufacturers coming out with radios that might be 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, and six gigahertz. Um, uh, I firmly believe uh, technology is help, going to help us navigate through these times. Um, you know, we're pre-vaccine right now with COVID. But I think technology is going to help us all through um, what's happening here. And really, if I look from a macro level, I think we're gonna see a lot more with IoT, um, digital signage, specifically anything where it's going to be um, an environment where people can be contactless, you know, that face-to-face -face interaction with that, um, uh, with the person checking you into the hotel may become a digital kiosk. We're seeing a lot of that even pre-COVID. Um, so 
um, IoT sensors for um, determining cleanliness of a room or um, you know, automated systems where um, you know, there's an automated check-in process. We're gonna see a lot of that accelerate and I think there's gonna be a lot, of, uh, a lot more IoT uh, developments uh, and uh, in addition, seeing these manufacturers uh, add additional frequencies like six gigahertz into their products. So um, if the big macro word is contactless, I think that's where technology is going to lead us uh, in the next two, three years. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of a leader at that, right? Uh, years and years ago, I got LASIK surgery, so now I'm contactless all the time. So ah, the puns continue. <laughs> I love it. We don't need we don't need a hotel bar to be. <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> well, listen, Zach. You know, I, I greatly appreciate you being here. I appreciate your insight. Of course, you're just coming off of off of vacation, where I'm sure you you had fun and enjoyed that old number seven over your right hand shoulder. So. You know, <laughs> we greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much, Zach. Thank you. Cheers. Stephen Brocken. Thank you, brother. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Well, that wraps up episode three of The Corner Office. I hope you've enjoyed it. A special thanks to Zach Hubeck of Wayne for being my guest today. For more information on Wayne or to contact Zach Hubeck, I've included his contact information below. Additionally, for more information on Safety Net Access, our product center services, please visit our website at www.safetynetaccess.com. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, and hey, don't forget to be happy. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>